Hello, and welcome to episode one of The Film Flush. I'm your host, Mike, and today I'm talking about Split. Split marks M. Night Shyamalan's best film since 2002, Signs. You know, the one starring Mel Gibson and a Culkin? Well, that isn't exactly high praise. It's a bit of a minor miracle coming from the man who brought us The Village, The Last Airbender, and a movie where plants kill people, Lady in the Water. James McAvoy's magnificently entertaining, energetic, and completely batshit crazy performance is the main reason why this movie works. And really, his lack of subtlety is the only logical fit for this type of material. Anya Taylor-Joy, who you may know as the daughter from the last year's really good horror film, The Witch, one of my favorites, and Betty Buckley, whose claim to fame was playing a bucket of blood in the original Carrie, also deliver solid performances though their roles don't share the same depth as McAvoy's. Unfortunately, the biggest downfall of Split is its lack of tension. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, oh my god. Which could be considered problematic for a film-laden thriller. While the story evolves into some ridiculous twists and turns, constantly cutting back to Taylor Joy's character's backstory really extinguishes what the previous scene built. I found this choice in the storytelling unnecessary, and it ultimately just makes the climax less powerful. On the other hand, McAvoy's therapy sessions with Betty Buckley are far and away the highlights of the film. They're wonderfully acted and, surprisingly, more intense than the main kidnapping plot. Then there's the ending, which, spoilers, has a twist. Can you believe it? But you didn't see that coming. Personally, I wasn't a fan, but that doesn't mean you won't be. Overall, I give Split three wipes out of five. This had been the Film Flush with Mike. I'll see you next time. He's done awful things to people and he'll do awful things to you.